Yeah, nice. Okay. Let's go forward. Here I have a problem with the resolution. I will try to fix it now. For that, I prepared this texture of the ground. I will drag it here on my composition. This is the texture. What I want to do is like I want to place it really on the same. I will hide it to show here on the ground layer. So for that, you know what I will do? I will turn the 3D option layer. And after that, I will get the position and all the the position and the rotation from the from the ground layer. So this is the ground layer P to get the position. Copy the position and paste it there. And rotation, I will get the orientation. Control C and I'll paste it here. So I'll have the layer, the ground layer, the new ground layer with the same position, the same coordinate from the uh, the old layer. Okay, you know, now what I will do with the same option that I have, I will double select the layer, I will double click on the ellipse tool so it will create a mask all over my layer. After that, with some feather, okay, maybe you the scale down, I'll go closer to the camera. Okay, yeah. nice. More than that, I will duplicate it to create more copies. I will have a copy here. Maybe I'll place it here with a scale. And copy it. Have it here. Okay, I think it's enough for now. So going back to the resolution quarter resolution, I'll try to simulate it. Preview. Yeah, it looks nice. Great. So now, after having this nice animation, what we'll have to do is like we'll we'll add our extra element. There are some rocks on the ground layer. So we'll start by dragging our layer. We'll activate the three D. Scale it down, maybe 3%. We'll push it toward the camera. Yeah, the nice thing is that you can check the real location of the layer on the ground with this intersection level, as you can see here. Okay, we'll place it here maybe. With Ctrl D, we can make another copy. Push it a little bit back. Another copy. With the Z axis, we'll push it back. More copies here. We will change more flat. More copy. One more here. Yeah, what is missing here is the shadow. So to do that we can just pre-compose one of those layer, pre-compose it, we rename it rock, double click on the new layer, and we will work separately on that. So scale it a little bit down, duplicate it, activate the 3D option, and isolate just one of those layers. I will add an effect, drop shadow, perspective drop shadow, just keep only the shadow, giving more softness, and with W, we can rotate it. And we'll have it here, scale it a little bit bigger. So, look at this effect. 
So if we place it here, it looks nice. And we'll add maybe more opacity and more softness. The place is great. But the problem here, like with the intersection level, we have, okay, you can check it here if you want. Custom view, you will see what is happening really. So you have your layer here and the shadow layer here. But the problem is like there is an intersection here between them. So you'll have, it will appear darker because this region is in the upper side. This region is in the down. What we will do now to get rid of this undesired effect, go back to our view and we'll add an adjustment layer. We'll rename it separator and we'll place it between the two layers. Okay, everything looks fine. Go back and we can find that we have our shadow on the ground. One more thing is like we have only one layer with shadow. Why? Because we didn't replace the other layers with the new pre-composition. So with Alt press it, we'll replace all the layers. Now we have all our layers with that shadow effect. Yes, but there is one problem here that the layer is really in the 3D location. It's answering the camera movement. But the problem is not, the shadow is not 3D. So what we will have to do, rasterize all those layers. Like that will have a 3D shadow. Okay, because of the source of light, theoretically it's here. We should have like a shadow longer than the current aspect. So what we'll do, we'll go back, double click on any layer and we'll select our shadow layer and we'll try to make it longer. Don't worry about the edges because it's a 3D layer now. Let's try the 3D layer there. Go back to our environment. Yes. Maybe we'll decrease the shadow, the opacity of the shadow. The effect can decrease it. Okay, let's go back to our environment. Yeah, it looks nice. 